<laughs> In a world, a dark dimension, full of spooky horrors and nerdy things. We're here to talk all things horror and all things nerdy. It's Neon Pocket Dimension. Yay! Gage did it. I did it! <laughs> I forgot how uh, long this, this went, but I'm just going to keep it going. Um, That's cool. Welcome to Neon Pocket Dimension. How's it going, everyone? It's it's Oddtober, right? It is Oddtober. That's right. That means it's spooky stuff all across the board and all of our Odd Valley content. Um, I made this little Halloween jam like a long time ago, and I was like, oh, we could just hit that one, I guess. I could probably EQ it. it a little better. I'll send it to you. You can actually nice. listen to it. I was just like, what if I made like a spooky N NES song? You know what I mean? But then it drops. Yeah, it's got a pretty cool little beat. Anyway, welcome to the show. <laughs> Sorry, I was all excited about the music. Maybe it's good I usually can't hear the intro music, otherwise I'd just be jamming the whole time. <laughs> this one's a pretty fun Wait, no. one. Um, yeah. Anyway, welcome to our nerdy show. It's a uh, place where we all nerd out. It's another dimension of devoid of nonsense and non-nerddoms. Um, you know, we got Gage over there. He introed the show. What's up? We got Miguel over there. What's up? He's showing his creepiest smile. I love it. Um, and uh, my name is Jacob. Smile. Oh, <laughs> is that the or is that the smile you do to your coworkers? Kind of smile. You know what I mean? <laughs> I haven't gotten to that point, but I probably should. <laughs> That's the smile I do when I'm walking past. Just walk into work every day. Here comes the fucking ghoul, aka me. <laughs> um, I'm Jacob. Uh, AKA OM Jesus. Um, and now officially a Twitch affiliate. That's right, baby. Woo! I finally made it. Hey. I just want to at least say that one time. I feel pretty good about yeah. it. Thank you very That's much. Awesome, yeah. Very happy. I definitely set up some. Uh, I definitely filled out a W9 today. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. that's. Oh, yeah. Straight up. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I, I, I got to look for some emotes. I got to do some fun stuff with that. You know what I mean? Um, but oh, yeah. hey. Just want to announce that. Also, um, I'm I'm drinking Sierra Nevada Hazy Little Thing IPA, which is oh, it's kind of see through. Whoa! Wow. Okay. Uh, that clearly I have to turn off my um, chroma key. Miguel, what, do you have a do you have a drink over there or something? I am currently drinking a truly lime. Oh, hmm. nice. But I also have a mango cart from Golden Road. Nice. <clears throat> mango cart is very good. You know, Miguel is the person that told me about mango cart micheladas that they do over at um, uh, at the stadium, the T-Mobile Stadium, uh, Golden Knights play at, which didn't they just win the other night, like yesterday? I haven't been watching since I went to that preseason game. Is it still preseason? No. No. Okay, really this is real. Okay, so we just won a game. So well, that's, that's good. That's cool. <laughs> um, I'm sure they lost because it was preseason, but they lost pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I'm playing – yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't see that score. Um. Also, it's, is it hockey or soccer? What is it? What's oh, that's that's hockey. 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 So, cool. um, are you not a go hockey sharks. fan? Game? I was gonna say. Did you just say go sharks? sharks? Fuck you, bro. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever out here, we can go to a game. Oh That'd yes. Oh, dude, you should come here. Games are really fun. For sure, come here oh. when the sharks play. Could you imagine that? That'd be amazing. That'd be fun. Uh, uh, I used to go to the Sharks all the time when I lived in SF because there's just like a train that goes right from downtown SF down there. And yeah. so, yeah, I, yeah, my buddy had season tickets, so he'd give them to me every once in a while. That's fun, so awesome. Fun times. Yeah, did you know that the Sharks are like our mortal enemies? Yeah, they are. I, I, I kind of did. I, <laughs> yeah. It's cool. I, They're still only friends. Watch, I, only, I only watch Sharks games, so it's like, uh, you know, I only know <laughs> our side of the, of the battles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so... It's cool. We can still be friends, though. But, you That's know, fine. when it's game time, then we can yell at each other. And then we just move on with our friendship. Yeah, it's all right. You know well, I mean? you know, like the Raiders have, like, Bay Area blood, and then now they're oh. over there. So we got some. We got some you can have them back yeah, if you want. Actually, I don't want them. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, like, there must there must be, like, kind of a rivalry type of thing happening between Las Vegas and the Bay Area because of all these little things, right? Like, little by little, we stole your football team. You know what I mean? We're we always, don't, we don't abandon them. Yeah, we didn't oh, steal that's a good point. Good point. 
Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. we didn't want him. I feel like <laughs> exactly. That's my point. I don't want him either. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what I'm trying to get out there. Is like, I never asked for him. I mean, it's cool to have a football team. Don't get me wrong, but like. I feel like all of the Las Vegas Raiders fans who live in Las Vegas were already Raiders fans. Yeah. You know what I mean? And because, like, we never had sports teams uh, before recently. Um, it's like, I don't know. Everybody has their own football team already. Like It, it, it would have been nice to everyone. get an expansion team. Right. Just well, like the Gold way, Knights. The team would have been from here. And I yeah, think that's, that's true. Really good which That's is why, true. which is why Las Vegas is very like all about the. Um, we're all about the Golden Knights because it is it's, our it's franchise. It's a hockey town at this point. Yeah, it really is. That's cool. Fuck that's it. that's way cool. I like it when that's like a a, a front like. Uh, it was like that way in New York City, even though they obviously have the Yankees and stuff like that too. But like mm-hmm. the Rangers Stadium, the fact that they play at Madison Square Garden, which is right downtown, like makes it like feel the most actual New York City of New because like. The the Yankee Stadium's up in up in the Bronx, right? So it's kind of deep. You know, the Mets are out in Queens, which is kind of deep. And then the Giants actually play in New Jersey, so it's like it feels mm. like it's not even a New York team in a lot of ways. Really? Like when you live there, so yeah. And then the Nets play it in Bro- the Nets play in Brooklyn, but like the only team that of theirs that actually plays like in Manhattan is um is the Rangers. Not that I hate the Rangers, but you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, but it seemed like that was, you know, a hockey town because of it. Yeah, that's pretty wild stuff, man. Yeah, I didn't know that they yeah. played in uh, New Jersey. Like, makes me kind of think yeah, about the Clippers um, and the Lakers yeah. both being in California and, like, how no one likes Clippers. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm actually, uh, yeah, no one really likes the Clippers. I think it's kind of indie to like the Clippers, but, you know. But, you know. <laughs> it's pretty contrarian <laughs> to be a Clippers fl- yeah. fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's got to be some fan base. I mean, it's uh, wow. obviously they have a fan base. Okay, someone has to like them. <laughs> but all I'm trying to say is, I don't know any fucking Clippers fans, but I know plenty of Lakers fans, including Mochi Squeeze. Um, Hell yeah! So there you go. Yeah, wow. Uh, sports, sports, NPD dimension right now. Right. Well, on. hey, right. remember anything you can nerd out on. You know what I mean? Uh, if if Miguel decided to start knitting tomorrow, he could talk about it. You know what I mean? Whatever, man. You know, it could be all about – we talk about cooking sometimes, don't we? We get, yes, we, we, we do. should do a cooking we episode. Yeah, That'd be fun. I'm super down for a food, food-centric food episode for oh, sure. Oh, well, November's coming up. Maybe that should be our food oh, month. You know that's what I mean? perfect. Yeah. The Gorge. We'll call it, it November. <laughs> gorge. Gorge Vember. <laughs> what do you say? Gorge Vember. Gorge Vember. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> or I'll bo- see if um wait, I have I'll an even better Microsoft one. Can, if Microsoft can uh can send me that Halo cookbook and I'll make some recipes and report back. Oh, uh you know what? That's a good point that you're making there. I actually have we have quite a few books in here that are uh like nerdy. Um and I got a really cool ass one that I need to start cooking out of. Um that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let it mellow. I'll show actually I'll show it off next week because it is horror theme technically. Uh, so good Hell times. Yeah. I got Nom Vember in the chat. Thank you, Panda Finn. Panda Finn. <laughs> My that works too. And here, here's the ultra mega horror version of that. Vor Vember. Vor Vember. Oh god. Like that? Oh, god. <laughs> let me, let me eat you, Cage. Let me eat you bit by bit. Come here. <laughs> I'll um, just be cozy, cozy inside there. Uh, anyway, um. What else do we have to say? Um, now nah, we just finished the pluggy shit at the end there. So um, um, now is time for the vibe new. That's what we call it, um, which means uh, what you've been nerding out on. Who wants to go first this week? I think I believe I went first last week. Okay. I'll... Gage? You go, Jacob. Oh, you want me to go? go? All right. Well, yeah. uh, what have I been nerding out on this week? Uh, psh, I know I even typed this earlier, but I already forgot. Um, I we played Valheim last night. That game's a lot of fun. It's on Game Pass. I recommend it if you don't. Nice. If you've never played it. Uh oh, but then a little game called Overwatch Two came out. Um, it's free to play. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did at least want to mention the little bit of a scandal that happened with it, with the which Activision is going to be implementing with another one of their game franchises. I'm just forgetting off the top of my head. Um, but like you need to have believe. a. You need to have a phone number to be able to play this free-to-play game, like a working one, and it couldn't be a prepaid cell phone. 
number either. So I found that pretty yep. disgusting and classist. And people, some people on Twitter were yelling about it. And I didn't even know about it at all because I, I wasn't able to get into the game because, like, you know, what a disastrous launch it was anyway. Um, but they've since rolled back that. So I at least like that. You know, they're like, not well, it's fine if you don't have a phone number. Only if you've had, like, a, a game account in the past or something. But, like, Activision Blizzard's yeah. going to be enacting this for, like, another one of those game franchises. And I, can't for, I can't remember exactly which one. But I think I it's Modern Warfare 2. I think yeah, it's the one I think it's right. the Call of Duty that's about to come out. Yeah, yeah, Modern Warfare 2. Like you have I'm sorry, repeat yourself, Mingo. So what's the thought process behind that? Why? So the point is so that people can't like just cheat and then um like get banned and then just make a new account and come right back in. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Okay. It's also it's supposed I think to like was, I th- what's that? Sorry, go. No, I thought ahead. it was also for people not being able to create Smurf accounts so mm-hmm. that they could like be super super good at the game and super high ranked yeah, so yeah. that they're only getting put in high ranked games and then create like a shitty account that they can just go pwn on noobs. Yeah. yeah. Which, yeah. which I can kind of understand but at the same time like Jacob said it's uh you're kind of what's what's the word here? Uh, uh you're shitting on poor people. people. Who that necessarily don't need to be excluded. But right. At the same yeah. time, they do need to find a fix for that because that is some bullshit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like they tried to implement this thing. It kind of backfired, but they're still going to go all in with the same thing with Modern Warfare 2. So we'll see how that pans out. I just le- at least wanted to get that out because I'm just like, it feels like a bad move. I know they want to do something to help with these situations, but. I mean, there has to be another way. There has to be a better way than just basically saying, hey, you're poor? Fuck you. Can't play Overwatch. It's free, but fuck you. You know what I mean? That just makes me sad. But the game itself is fun. If you can get into get into the game itself, I hear that the servers are good now. It was being DDoSed and stuff. Um, uh, but, yeah, it, it, it yet again is bringing out the worst in people. Uh, people are yeah. like, oh, man, I'm, it's toxic, bro. Like, <laughs> I can only play for so long and I have to turn Overwatch off. And I'm like, this is why I stopped playing Overwatch in the first place, honestly. Are we Me? surprised? No, I'm not. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not at all. Not you know what I mean? But uh, it is fun. I have not played it, to be honest. Right. Uh, so it is fun, right? And I feel like if you have a group of friends and you could fill out that five-person squad with all people you know, or at least the majority of people you know, you probably could have fun with your friends. Just don't yell at your friends, okay? Just remember that, all right? <laughs> Don't be mad if so and so doesn't know how to play a certain hero. How are they supposed to learn without actually playing from the from the scratch? You know what I mean? Are you speaking from experience? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I haven't been yelled at, but I've, I've, you know, I used to yell at people back in the day, and I've seen people get yelled at already I, recently with Overwatch Two. I believe you have, Jacob. I, you don't have to believe the truth. You just have to know it. <laughs> oh no! I feel this happened to me. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I yelled at you, and then Panda Finn says I can yell at you. Yeah, you can yell at me all you want, bro. I might yell back. <laughs> uh, but no, anyway. So yeah, fun game. You know, I want to play some more. Uh, but I'm I'm uh, when it comes to the multiplayer shooters, I'm bouncing between that and Gundam. Um, and honestly, like I just love Gundam Evolution so much. Fun, fun ass game. We'll keep want to keep playing it. I'll keep streaming it. Uh, and then the last thing I just want to quickly talk about, I watched more horror films. I think I'm like on number 13 right now. Um, today I watched Maniac, which is, woof, what a movie. Uh, it does have a couple fun, like, kills in there. You know what I mean? But it's like a real dreary, fucked up, insane, like, fever dream. So would I recommend Mani- Maniac? Maybe not. But definitely watch the part with the shotgun and the car. And then the end scene with what happens to Frank Zito. So um, if yeah, if you're just a horror fan, you know, you might as well watch it because it always does get come up. You know what I mean? But like, I still stick by don't watch Cannibal Holocaust. You know what I mean? That's where I draw the line. <laughs> yeah, draw the line. <laughs> you got to draw the line there. Uh, but uh, the the homie Justin is doing uh, Joe Bob Nights on our Discord where he's like streaming old Joe Bob episodes and stuff. So we watched this uh, movie called The Ice Cream Man. Um. And it's uh, Spooky. it's what's his name? Uh, this guy, I forget his name, but you'll see him. I'm gonna just be roll it really quick. Do 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 do. I think it's this one. 
Yeah, this guy. What's his name again? Oh, that guy. Yeah. What's his name again? No idea. No idea. It's that. But he was in all those di- things, you know. Yeah, it's all that one director's brother. You know. He's like a Howard. Something How- Clint, Howard. Clint Howard. Yeah, Clint, Clint Howard. Howard. That's his name. Yeah. Is anyway, he Ron Howard's brother, really? That's wow. Ron, Howard's yeah, he's Ron Howard's brother. Yes. Uh. Uh. Anyway, yeah. Uh. I think the budget was two million dollars. Uh, in 1995, so like you know, very B movie, straight to DVD type or straight to VHS, I should say, uh, type of film. Um, and I absolutely recommend it. it <laughs> there's some like he's just making gross uh, uh ice cream out of like cockroaches and eyeballs, and uh, there's some pretty it. pretty funny kills. Like at one point, he's got a waffle cone, a giant waffle cone with like a dude's head, severed head in it. Um, and it looks really funny, and um, I, I just recommend it. Um, and then I watched Suspiria, 1977. Still holds up. I liked it a oh, lot. Cool. Uh, very stylish. Uh, I love the music, uh, and it's way less about dancing than the the remake in 2018, which is like all yeah. about dancing, I guess. Um, Seriously. Yeah. Gob- that- Goblin. The Goblin does the music for it, and goddamn, is Goblin good? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's. Oh uh, God, I just I love it. It's funny too because I had that uh the song like the music from that on my Halloween playlist without having watched the yeah. movie, and then right after I watched the movie, I had it on shuffle and it came right on, and I was like, "Oh shit, it's Suspiria!" Now I get it. So yeah. there you go. Do you know the band, Do you know the band Justice? They're like an electro yes. electro yes, I do. band from France. They sample Goblin a lot on their first record, and and it that yeah, it's really good. Fuck really good yeah. Stuff. Um. So yeah, great great film. I recommend it. And if you do feel like watching it, you can watch it on Tubi right now. And here's my Tubi review. It's good. Uh, absolutely nice. free. I watched Asperia completely free. Just download the app. Just watched it. And I only got four ad breaks for the whole film. And the ad breaks were only like two two minutes or something. So totally awesome. Nice. There's, I mean, there's some other horror movies I've seen and stuff. Uh, but all I'll say is watch a couple. You know what I mean? There's some good stuff out there. Uh, oh, Midnight Club. That was pretty good from what the stuff I watched. Is that the new series um, from like the haunted house, Hill House Haunting and the mm-hmm. other guy? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you mean uh, Flanagan, Mr. Flanagan? Yes. He there also, it is. Was that other? What's that one? Yeah, Hill House, but he did uh, Midnight Mass. Midnight Mass. Yes. And then yes. the other one. There was like Blythe Matter. It was another live. One. That yes. one actually was kind of scary too, and this one like mm-hmm. I think the very first episode broke a Guinness Book World Record of uh, the most amount of jump scares in a TV episode. So Whoa. just be ready oh, for God. that. But, yeah, the first episode, and you know Mochi was talking a lot to me about that. That's I saw cool. parts of it while I was like gaming or something. All right, I'm done. What's up? Who's next? I'll go. That was fun. Hell yeah! Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it going along with the horror movie train, so I figured I'd jump in. Sweet. I watched the new the new Hellraiser. Me and oh. me and uh, Aisha watched it. Mm-hmm. Um, I enjoyed it. I mean, I didn't think it was scary really, but it was definitely mm-hmm. like I mean, a lot of the Hellraiser movies are more about the the gore and the like like you know the just intensity of of the depravity type of thing. Um, I thought it was a perfectly acceptable entry in it and uh the effects were cool and the cenobites were rad and uh yeah mm-hmm. i totally enjoyed it i think if you're a fan of those movies go for it and even if you're not it was a it was a quick and easy watch and yeah for sure it's on hulu it is yes, on indeed hulu. yep hulu. did you watch that yet yeah we, we saw it uh mochi squeeze said i didn't like it um also in the chat she said yeah i screamed a lot <laughs> she did watching midnight club because i had my headphones on i kept hearing her scream through the headphones in the game volume um so yeah but uh, we did watch uh hellraiser uh i agree with you uh i kind of i gave it like a six out of ten or 3.5 i guess maybe three out of five i guess i just i just felt like i don't know there's some things that were like eh about it but um the kills yeah the kills were fun the ones that kills were fun yeah, that's all I was really looking for for from it, you know, like mm-hmm. yeah. I feel like the Hellraiser stories have never been like that sophisticated. I'm kind of like hey, what, what do you want it. from Hellraiser? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, here here's my gripe with the movie, right? Show the show all the kills. They cut out so many. It's mm. like 
You just mm. know like one of the Cenobites got a guy, and it doesn't really show you. Yeah. They just disappear. I'll give you that. You hear him scream and disappear, it. and it happens like the first three victims. And I'm like, come on. I know that guy's getting yeah. ripped apart with fucking uh, hooks. You know what I mean? And yes, you do see hook ripping. You know, um, but dude, I, I don't want to. Sp- I don't want to spoil this movie. But I'll just say to you, Gage, what about the thing that was? What about the guy at the end with the thing? Yeah, yeah, that, that was, was wild. That was real deal. That yeah, that that, that I liked. That's why I. I yes, it's teetering between a three and a three point five for me. Big Moji Squeeze says three. She po- said three. three. Out of- Three out of five. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, definitely I watch it. Give it a three also. Definitely yeah, watch definitely it. Definitely worth a watch. For me, it's what I call popcorn horror. Like, it's just worth it. It's sure. worth a, you know, it's like a dumb horror movie to watch. And the, the puzzle box yeah. is dope. That's the best part. Yeah, those are really rad. I just kind of want one of those in my house, but not with the slicey thing, obviously. But, you know. Um. <laughs> how many blade? <laughs> how many fucking blades are in that thing, dude? Like, is it I'm one blade know. that keeps popping out or is it like yeah, 10 blades? One? That's, a, that's like a sharpest blade of all time, by the way. It looks awful. That it makes me really uncomfortable. The, also, the <laughs> yeah. the death with the with the guy who gets wrapped in wires. That one was really. Oh annoying. yikes! Um, yeah, that was fucked. Yeah, man. But I agree with you. The beginning of the movie's kind of weird, where it's like you know it's Cenobites. Just fucking show us Cenobites killing people, <laughs> like you know. Yeah. But they, I feel like they didn't want to show their hand until later in the movie. But you're like, we all we all get it, <laughs> you right. know. Yeah. But, I did like the design change on them though. Or it was, uh, they weren't as, uh, you know, latex. Yeah. It, it was more like their deformed skin. Right. I, yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. Right. It was. Um, I just love pra- practical effects, you know, more. So that's why, yeah. like, I'll always love Hellraiser 1 and 2. Like, just just amazing practical effects, dude. Oh, and the Moshi Squeeze said one was clearly Asian. Yeah, that one was weird as fuck. The way that her skin was peeled back and stuff, like mm-hmm. a banana or something, <laughs> something like that. Right? It was a little kind of like that for sure. Yeah. yeah exactly. I like the, okay. like the clicky guy. That. that oh, guy. Yo, cool. oh yeah. No, I I'm with you there, dude. He, I'm just I, sad they didn't bring back the CD one. Well, that's. <laughs> I mean. I still need to watch all of Hellraiser 3. I've only seen, like, clips and just the beginning part. I was told to only watch... I've only seen the first one. I was told oh, to watch you got to watch one. two. Watch two again. Yeah, the second one's still good. Yeah, yeah. And after that, you don't bother. Yeah. Or you could just put them on because they're dumb. Because <laughs> it's fun. Which is what I'm doing. Like, right now, like, this year for me, it's all about the sequels. I'm trying to watch a lot of sequels and, and, and movies I nice. haven't seen. So you know what I mean. I'm I, I want I'm ready to watch Child Child's Play two and three, but I definitely want Mochi Squeeze to watch those with me, um, because you know Chucky rules. I'm sorry, I'm not trying and to then, hijack. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. All good. All, all good. All good. Um, and then the other thing I kind of revisited as part of Oddtober uh, slash just Spooky Month mm-hmm. um, was Have you guys ever watched um, the Oats Studios? Uh, like shorts, it's Neil Blomkamp's uh, studio. Yes, and some of those are terrifying and yes. in the best way. They're like super, yeah, super psychological horror, super gory, crazy shit for sure. It's on Ooh. YouTube, Miguel. Watch it. It's cool. Yeah, it's worth it's worth just going down a YouTube rabbit hole with him. I'd seen him all before, but I went back and I was like, huh, I wonder what he's been up to. And there was only like one or two new ones on there. Yeah. Um, but goddamn. Uh, you know what? You know what made me think of it. Um, you know that Kojima like oh. marketing thing that's been going on with yeah. Elle Fanning. Yeah. Well, she's in, she's in one of them. It's mm-hmm. actually really good. That's the one I was gonna even bring up right now. Yeah. Uh, what's that one called? Uh, not that's not Rocka. It's like Zygote or something like that. Or Zygote. like Zygote. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, that one's worth a watch for sure. And then yeah, Rocka is the other one. That one's really good. That's got Sigourney Weaver in it. And, oh uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Miguel. Yeah. So it's. it's it, for hundred percent worth your time, man. Look, look up Oats Studios. Like, it's just spell actual Oats Studios here. I'm bringing this up. This is that L Fanning uh, Kojima thing too. If you guys Kojima. haven't heard about this, um, he put out like a picture, like a mo- like a what do you call it? Where you couldn't you couldn't see her, but you could see her uh, outline and silhouette. It said, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, and it just said, "Who am I?" And then the next one now says, "Where am I?" You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. It's a whole it's a whole Kojima Kojima marketing thing. It's probably Death Stranding too. We'll see, but maybe not. It better not be. I hope it's just something new. Yeah, but mm-hmm. but you know, have you heard like the blessing stupid theory? But that's actually probably right about like, you know, Sam's mm-hmm. daughter. Anyways, whatever. I am Sam is not a good movie. No one should be talking about it at all. And it's blessing's it fucking also, yeah. fault that we're all talking about it. I'm, I'm. It all, the only thing I'm mad at blessing about is the fact that he's bringing up the shitty movie I Am Sam. It's a shitty ass fucking movie. Don't watch it. Whatever you the do, do movie. not watch I Am Sam. Have you seen that movie, Miguel? I've seen I am. Don't see it. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's got it's 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 a, it's a weird one where it's like. I think they just wanted to make Dustin Hoffman like play a mentally challenged person again. And then also they wanted to have a Beatles soundtrack. I don't know why the whole soundtrack is Beatles. And you're like, why is that the case? But, oh, well, sorry. Um, my brain thinking bad. about this shitty movie again, dude. It's the worst. Sorry. Movie. Sorry. We're going to, we're going to stop. We're gonna stop. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, let's, it's last your time. thing real fast on the, on the vibe new last, last thing real quick. Uh, I just beat, I, uh, I'd been slowly, slowly playing it, but I, I just beat uh Pokemon brilliant diamond. Uh, it is um, a perfectly meh Pokemon game. I'd never played that generation before back when it was, you know, on the Game Boy Advance or whatever. Yeah. Or, I think it was Game Boy Advance. Which gen was that? Five? I'm going to say it's gen five, yeah. Yeah. Um, After Ruby, maybe that was right? the f- Maybe that was on DS. I think but it I don't was know. maybe... No, because Ruby Sapphire was advanced, so it was either... Okay. Also, I think it was the last DS? one. I think it was the last one on on Game Boy Advance, but I could yeah, be I wrong so. about that. Anyways, yeah. I never I had never played it before, so I played that remake that came out what in 2021, 2020? I forget. Twenty like twenty. Yeah. God, it's so hard to remember that far back. It is. It's alright, <laughs> but uh, but it, I don't know. It's just it's it's an uninspired Pokemon game. It's like it is kind of just go through the motions. There's not really like a good. A lot of the other ones have good like little Team Rocket stories or other like the legendary pokemon is like a more interesting story mm-hmm. this one's really not and then the it was just really really easy like the game was just ridiculously uh. easy like i i just i kept i didn't do anything special to my pokemon like for the whole time and i just i literally feel like i never once was close to failing any battle ever <laughs> like i was just like all right so it was just a weird one because sometimes yeah. i mean Pokemon games used to be a little obtuse, you know. They used to be, have some JRPG elements where you're like, "What do I do here?" And I just yeah. never, you know, there was there was none of that at all. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I was pretty bored by it. I would get I would give it like a two out of five, to be honest. But, Damn. Oh well. Wow. Oh well. Beat it anyway. <laughs> it, it was nice. like I might as well just go through the and go through it. Never get back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I got it was a lot of, a lot of it games. was very much like, it was very much a just like turn on the switch while my wife's watching something that i don't care about for a second like it was never like it was like mm. you know that kind of thing you're so. hand you're you were handheld moding that like the shit out of that game pretty much always handheld the handhold the switch like like uh no, same here yeah yeah i think maybe breath of the wild was the only game i ever plugged in oh i for sure played that shit in handheld mode too i'd say the only Me too. The, oh there you go yeah great i mean why are you buying a switch to yeah. not play it on the toilet you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, or like Mario Party, Mar- I guess I play plug on TV because everyone's like playing that with you. But because you, know. you have to hold You're the. Like, on the toilet? I mean, <laughs> well, I don't think you can even play it in that mode. You have to have it like with the detached <laughs> controllers. So what are you gonna do? Bring the dock in there and like set up yeah. a little t- baby TV in there or something? You should that be able d- to bring your own and play it on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, awesome. I was gonna say Mario so Odyssey too. too. Yeah. Mario Odyssey. Oh yeah. Because of the um, gesture controls with the. Why do I always want to yeah. call them nunchucks? I always want to call them nunchucks, and it's not correct. Joy cons. Thank you. Joy cons. I'll never remember the word Joy Con. Miyamoto, why? Why do they keep changing it? They should just choose one. <laughs> Right. It's because okay, they're not Sony where they're like on what the Dual Shock Five. They always want to call their controllers the same fucking thing for like nine generations. Who fucking cares what it's called? Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo cares, Miguel. But apparently you don't because you don't know what they're called. 
Yeah, uh, it's dual sense now. The dual, dual sense. Dual sense. Wave Wave Bird. Hey, got, that's a game. That's GameCube. Know. Was the Wave Bird official? I think it was official. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, that was the official wireless one. Weird that Nintendo was like one of the first wireless right? controllers ever. Like that doesn't seem like their type of innovation, but you know. Wasn't the dongle like this fucking big too? Like it's just a big ass thing you plug into your tiny GameCube. Do you remember it, this, it Miguel? Definitely looked, it definitely looked funny. It was it was only like, I w- yeah I want to say it was only like probably like this big, but oh, okay. it, but okay. still looked still looks kind of funny. Yeah, I mean the Wave Bird was sick. I'm not shitting on it. I just remember like it being like like the the dongle itself being big, but that could be wrong. Maybe I just thought it was big back when I was small. No, it's not that big. Okay. GameCube's a great console. Miguel, what have you been nerding out on this weekend? One of my faves. Uh, uh, me too. Um, well, a bunch of things, kind of. Uh, I was playing uh, Just Cause 4. It's oh, on Game cool. Oh, cool. Uh. And then I realized that it's <laughs> an inferior version uh. of Just Cause 2. So I what? uninstalled it. It looks great. Uh-huh. Yeah. But the whole point of the game is, like, they completely fucked it. Because they got rid of, like... And I know a lot of people, I guess, complain that in 2, and I guess in 3 as well, you would take over settlements. Uh-huh. You have to, like, blow things up, and then you'd give you a percentage of being done. Uh... In the fourth one, you don't have to do any of that. So hmm. it felt very pointless to even do it. Uh... And that, in my opinion, was the fun part of the game. Oh, I see. Yeah. So I just, I uninstalled it because I'm like, I'm not going to waste my time with this. And then, um, mm-hmm. what else did I put in? Um, I was playing Moonscars for a little bit. Oh, it was pretty what'd you think of that? I had, I had to pull out the, uh, the Xbox control that I have. Nice. My PC. Because there was no way I was going to play that with keyboard and mouse. <laughs> no. It was hard. Yeah. It's kind of tough. I, pl- I played that kind of half asleep the other night and I was like, I think this is good, but I'm tired as fuck right now. For all it- I was having a good time with it. I could I could see that being a game I'd actually play. Mm-hmm. Art style's cool. I beat Piku Niku. Mm. Nice. Um, and then I played uh, a little bit of You Suck at Parking. Oh, what'd you think? Which I do <laughs> suck at parking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't getting the three stars on all the levels like me. Were you? Not, not on all the levels. I did on some, <laughs> but not all. Uh, G- Gage, did you try that game or no? No, I had just I literally just had finished Ollie Ollie World when that game came out, so I was yeah. like, mm-hmm. I feel like it's very similar in a lot of ways, and I was like, I don't think I'm ready for this, but maybe I'll pick yeah. it up at some point. Dude, you could just get in there and play it for like five minutes and kind of get the gist right. of it and have fun with it for a sec, you know? I played for like 15, and then I turned it off. And yeah. Like, okay, time to go to bed. Right. Cool. Something quick and easy to play. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's perfect. I watched Hellraiser. Oh, right. Okay. What else did I What watch? would you give it out of five? Uh, va- uh, Probably a three and a half. I mean, okay. I wasn't expecting anything from it. Uh-huh. Um, I was just happy to hear that it was not a remake, even though I know some people wanted a remake. Right. Which I could have seen being, they could have done a reboot with it and it would have been okay either way. Right. But I mean, ultimately, like with the Hellraiser movies, I don't think you really need a really crazy, decent, like, story no 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 and i thought the one that they had in this was was okay i mean it worked mm-hmm. so um i'd yeah. give it probably like a three 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 and a half like you guys yeah we're all kind of teetering no, but, same little zone but, i mean i did like pinhead i thought she was cool right i was kind of glad it was a woman like fucking change it up yeah who gives a shit who gives a shit if it's a woman yeah i, I, I don't care about that too yeah, but doesn't it feel a little bit weird that they gave her the sewing needle pins? Like they're almost, you know, a little bit sexist or something. Were pinheads oh. originally were they just like flat? They were nails. Were, were they nails? Oh yeah, weren't they? Or maybe they weren't nails. Na- Actually, I think they're like nails coming out the <laughs> other side, like towards you, like pins. Like a, yeah, I, 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 I want to say they shape. were pointy. Yeah, they're pointy, not flat. Yeah. No, no, he's around, dude. I'm looking at pictures. Really? Nice. So it's about the same. Yeah. I, I, okay. I, I, yeah, it's like 
no, I mean, no. why call it pinhead then at that point if you're not going to use pins? Yeah, that's a yeah, good point. Yeah. I'm I gotta look at a picture because I'm just curious now. But, but I mean, either way, it was it was good. I liked it. I mean, um, she didn't look bad, and she did no, the she, didn't. she did the same pinhead stuff that pinhead did. So it, it, it works. And I felt like it was all they all look androgynous anyways. So I was kinda yeah. like it does precisely, yeah. They're not there's not really a gender like at all. It's just kind See, of even <laughs> original Pinhead was androgynous. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So I mean, ultimately, whoever's complaining about that, I don't know what their problem is in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I agree. Yeah. You know, people are care. people are sensitive these days. Oh my God. And then um so I watched that. And what else did I watch? Um, I started a really bad Nick Cage movie called The Humanity Bureau on uh, Amazon wow. Prime. Here we go. About halfway through that. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but you but, still haven't watched fucking, uh, what is it? The one I keep Wally's telling you about? Wonderland. I need to watch that. Please, <laughs> please watch that next. Like, try to fit it in next. I swear I watched something else, too, that was just really bad, but I watched it anyway. <laughs> This time I will never get back, but it's fine. <laughs> the ga- That's how but, I'm feeling about the gallows, by the way. It's, I think it's going to be really bad. I'm hating it so gallows? far. Yeah, I'm just watching it in the background. Is that a movie or a show? It's a movie. It's just clearly a ripoff of paranormal activity, but like in a school with kids. And it's, I just, I don't know. It's, when did that come out? It's like 2016 or something. Really? Shit, it I sounds terrible. Yeah, I don't know. I just I remember seeing a lot of commercials on it, and I was like, "Oh, it's on Hulu. I'll just kind of throw it on." And I'm like, "The f- as soon as you start watching it, you're like, oh, this is gonna be bad, man." So that that's pretty much what I've been doing. Um, cool. I think there's something else in there that I've been watching, but I don't remember to be honest at this point. Mm-hmm. I still need to go back and finish Andor and get caught up. I should say. We haven't um, even started that one. She Hulk. Ooh, new episode tonight. Let's go. I haven't watched that. She you know, good. It's pretty good. I like that yeah. a lot. It is good. People are hating yeah, on it for no like reason. Like other shit, and I'm just like, at this point, I've been dealing with stuff, and I got no time, man. Got I no get time. it. I get it. <laughs> There's only so much time in the day, and you can't stay up till one every night. You know what I mean? Nope. Absolutely not. Cool. But yeah, that's it for the most part. And that's it for the live new everybody. Um, guess that's all we've been nerding out on this week. But let's get to into more the topic. Horror more horror. Let's get into the topic, which is more horror. That's right, everyone. We're talking about horror video games throughout the ages. Sounded like you said horror video games. Horror, horror. I do have a story about that, and I'll just do a super quick, brief thing, where I was like <laughs> a kid, and this girl was like like saying mean stuff to me or something. And so then my response was like, Oh, you're for the horror. And she thought I saw, said for the horror. And then I got trouble. And then my mom took me Uh. home um, and told me I can't say whore. And I said, I don't even know what that is. I said for the horror. And she's like, Oh, I'll never forget it. Your mom taught you how to say whore. Yeah. I that I learned I learned the word whore that day, everyone. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So um, I just figured, hey, you know, we like video games. We we like to nerd out. Let's talk about horror vid- video games. Um, so I, yeah. I figure, like, let's keep this simple to start off, right? Let's just, you know, just floors open. Just mention one you like, one that you've taught, you've played. Doesn't have to even be recent. Like, what's something fun that you like about the horror game that you're about to mention? Or, you know, tell me about a story about a horror game you've played in the past. Um, you know, I got what's you. your favorite one? Like, just just something, you know, just give us a little flavor. Uh, go ahead. I'm ready. I'm I'm ready for it. I'll start us off with a weird one. So it was 4:20. Uh, <laughs> probably like nice. Probably like uh, let's say like 2008. Uh-huh. And um, and I well, maybe even 2007, probably 2007, if I'm being honest. And I went up to a place called Redwood Park, which is here in town, and it's a, a like a whole bunch of redwood trees. And then there's a big clearing in the middle. And on 420 every year, back in the day, I don't think I know if it still happens, but they used to have like big drum circles, and everyone would smoke a bunch of weed, and it would be you know it'd be that type of thing. Mm-hmm. So I went up there, you know, smoked a little bit of weed, 
spoilers. Hell yeah. And then, and then my buddy, this happened to be a Saturday, and my buddy was like, hey, well, maybe I shouldn't talk about this on the air now that I'm thinking about it. It's fine. <laughs> I, change I, I, names, do, Yeah, change do, names. <laughs> yeah, change um, names. Change names. My buddy and not me uh, <laughs> were... Uh, we're we're in in we're indulging in um a mm -hmm. little uh alice in wonderland substance okay um, okay a little hallucinogenic you know, uh, hallucinogenic might be, three, might be three letters long oh um, oh oh ooh, okay okay yeah, yeah that's no and, joke. Uh, yeah and i wasn't really i wasn't or my not me was not really ready for um for how intense that was going to be that day in particular. Um, right. So anyways, I was tripping real hard. <laughs> and um, I uh, it was just a little too much to handle after like a couple hours of being at the park and drum circles and all that shit. And so I um, so I went home <laughs> and it was and I was just like wanted to be in my room and just chilling. And for whatever reason, like I had been playing this game called Silent Hill, The Room. Oh, the shit. Four. That's four, <laughs> right? four yeah yeah and and i just decided to boot it up and i beat the entirety of silent hill the room on lsd and so that was, oh, an, shit. Experience. That was an experience wow <laughs> yeah and oh. um wow ever since that game has stuck with me really really intensely as one can imagine um yeah, but it was it was it's honestly a really good game. I think it's looked at as maybe not one of the better Silent Hills, but I I found it mm -hmm. to be like one of the one of the more like kind of cohesive, um, like kind of weird experiences in those games. Like, um, for those who don't know, it all takes place. Well, it all kind of like there's a hub of the game, and there's kind of almost like a time loop scenario where you wake up in a room and. Um, pretty much every time you wake up different stuff changes within the room and then eventually you do get out of the mm. room but it's kind of just like either into your own psyche or like through a weird dimensional portal and uh yeah. it's really it's a really dark story uh as they usually are and um right. yeah it's, it was a really dark experience <laughs> overall but i can't believe i did it and i did it so there you go <laughs> that's amazing dude Each man sam wants to know he's confused was it you or not it was, it was, it was allegedly not you. It was allegedly not me. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a little bit um, of footage of Silent Hill for the room. It does not the 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 gameplay. It does not look amazing, but it's it's all the weird. I mean, what is this? Uh, PS3 era, PS2 era, something like that. I want to say it's PS the end of PS2, maybe. Yeah. That looks like PS2 to me. Yeah. Yeah. But... This is like. The 4K whatever version. Um, sure. You know what I mean? It's just, oh, Panafin says PS2. I own this game. Um, I feel like when people talk about this game, it's either they love it or they hate it. That's kind of what I hear. You know what I mean? Feel you. Uh, but damn, playing this on LSD must have been wild, man. Uh, yeah, especially you, you go down like into the depths <laughs> of like literal hell, you know? And yeah. It was it was, it was was pretty pretty rough. Oh, you There's can these, stomp like, on a guy's twin... butt. He stomped on his nice. butt. Look at that. Nice. You see that? I do see that. Did you miss the butt oh, those, guys are, those guys are creepy for sure. <laughs> is this the game with the multiple endings where one of the endings is like you find a dog and then he's been doing the whole thing the whole time? Do you know about this? I, I don't think I got that ending if that's the case. That's but... Silent Hill 2. Okay, cool. Thanks, Pandafin. Um, yeah, no, they're, they're like, yeah, I guess Silent Hill 2. There's like all these optional endings. Um, and yeah, one of them's like literally a, a joke ending where like, like everybody's like, what's behind all the spookiness? And it really is just a dog and like a, like a producer chair, like behind the scenes with cameras and shit. And then it's just That's like hilarious. this other song, like ending song where it's, they put barks in there and shit. Oh, it's That's incredible. So good. I'm going to, I'll link it in, in the, uh, in the description of the video here. Um, but Cool. Anyways, that's so that's my story about Silent Hill 4. But I really like that game somehow. I don't know. <laughs> it's because of your amazing um, experience with it. There you go. Um, my experience with Silent Hill 1 is that I was, my, you know, my parents have been divorced since I can remember. And when I was a kid, uh, I'd have to, like, you know, spend some time with my dad over at his house sometimes on the weekends. And um, 
one of those weekends he was like hey i'm gonna take off and do something for a little bit you know just hang out and there was a playstation one there and they happen to have um fucking silent hill and for some reason my scaredy cat little ass was like i'm gonna play this fuck it hell yeah and so then i basically played it in this house that i didn't live in um alone pretty much uh it was dark throughout the house and there was only candles um, lighting the room and I just played fucking Silent Hill. And I got to the part where like you go into this like elementary school and like as soon as you oh, walk yeah. you walk through the door you hear like a heartbeat speeding up. It's like dun 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 I'm like oh some something's gonna fucking get me. And so I run into another room and I remember there's like poems written by children and like blood. And I had to turn it off because I was done. I was like, I can't do <laughs> yep. this anymore. I'm 13 year old Jacob who's still scared of everything. I cannot fucking do this. Um, so yeah, I'll never forget that. That was the one of the scariest things ever. And then of course, Fear, the game series. Oh yeah. Um, I I attribute my love of horror and my like me not being scared of things anymore because I played through Fear one and two, um, and I always played it in the dark. Um, and those games scared the fuck out of me, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I feel like I yeah, conquered my fears, you know? What was that? Sorry, Gage. No, yeah, I fear, uh, it was the original fear, and yeah, yeah and that, that, that game was terrifying. Like, yes. maybe, oh my god. The, they're first person, right? Am I remembering correctly? Uh, first person, yeah, it's a, it's a first person shooter, Miguel, yeah. I don't know if you know these games, but it's yeah, a, it's, I yeah. But it, I I think I think like that a, was the thing like the that was the first first person horror game I think I ever played and I think that's why it was so scary because you couldn't you know the turning around aspect of it was like the most terrifying part you know dude yeah like there's there's that moment in the game where you're like climbing down some stairs and so your character like goes to the or excuse me a ladder right you so you go to a ladder uh and to climb down the ladder you know your character the animation is your character has to turn around. And then start climbing down the ladder, right? Uh, yeah. So that animation happens, but then the ghost girl is like standing right behind you, and then she disappears t- and turns into ravens or feathers or some shit. Uh, yeah. And that I remember that scaring the f- living fuck out of me. And then also there was this <laughs> <laughs> there's this one door you had to open, and like I knew there was some scary shit on the other side of it. Like I hear a crying baby. You know what I mean? And I it was a heartbeat or something. And I'm like, can I just not open this door? And so I just kept walking around the room and trying to do other things. Um, <laughs> and you open that fucking door, and yeah, it's a hallway of blood. And yeah, there's an upside down baby in there. It's not cool. Yeah. It's like hey, train spotting. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, Miguel? There's something about crying babies that's just scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I think we're like we're psychologically wired to like not like that sound because you know it's supposed to trigger a panic response for us right and so it's it's great it's great to scare the fuck out of people that's um, true <laughs> but um no i i did like this the story of that game i mean you can, it's clearly influenced by the ring and stuff you know you can you can tell but the second game that ghost girl is like an adult woman now and i think she wants to fuck you um and so she keeps jump scaring you out throughout the game all the time so like it's not so much like that brooding terror of the first game it's like the but that bitch can come out of nowhere. And then she's like literally like in your face and you see your gross, like decaying face and she's strangling you and you're, you have to tap your keyboard as fast as you can to break out of it. You know what I mean? So it's like, you're like, ah, 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 ah. And you're like smacking your keyboard. And, uh, yeah. So I just felt like it really like one game, you know what I mean? You face your, 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 the brooding fear. And the second game you face the shocking fear. Uh, and the third game yeah. is, well, I don't know, just another one. The shooting, I remember the shooting being good, though. You know what I mean? The shooting aspect, because you could slow down time. Like, basically, like, you trigger your uh, adrenaline, and you could slow down time. So, like, all the shooting combat was, like, the action was so good. It's like you want to keep playing. But then, totally. fucking, all of a sudden, you enter a room, and, like, your uh, communicator's, like, flickering static. And you're like, well, fuck, here we go. Ghost time, shit. You know, it's like. Totally. <laughs> what a great game It was series. a good concept. It was a great game. Yeah, one and two were great for sure. I I wish they would bring that series back like they are with Dead Space, and that's another great fucking horror game, boys. Uh, you guys play that game? The third one, Dead Space Three was shit. Oh, I've heard. 
fucking hated it. Never, <laughs> I never played it. Didn't they turn? I played it with someone because we did the co-op, and it just was not the same game. I'm sure. Right, it's kind of like Resident Evil um, Five. Six. I was gonna say, five. don't say seven. Be seven scariest. Oh, oh my god, yeah, I could. I had to stop playing Fuck it. That game. <laughs> that game was so scary, dude. Yeah, I. I couldn't get through it, man. I really tried. I was too much of a wuss. It's so I was playing by myself, and I, I can't do this alone, dude. For real, I was like, it's on Game Pass, and everybody says it's good. And I played like, I beat that boss with the car pretty early on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah, what, yeah, yeah. that's it, yeah. dude. And then I got to the point where you just have to start going to the basement, and like, there's yeah. these fucking things down there, man. And you know, and I mean things. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's I, I, things. I, playing. I do not like those things in the basement. <laughs> That's where I stopped. So yeah, I I really need to get back to it. Like that um, game's fucking no. Eh. And every eh. No, I'm saying, do you have to get back to it? You could just be too scared. It's fine. Yeah. No, I, agree. <laughs> I don't know. You guys know me, man. When I get a mission into my mind, I'm like, oh, I just have to do it. But then I don't know. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can, dude. One of these days I will. Um, but it's just because it's, it's not on Game Pass. It's not on Game Pass anymore. But I I don't know. Yeah, see, eight. There's something about eight that's like I just I'm uninterested. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, me too. Kind of. And, and it's like I know it's probably really good, and I do want to play all these Resident Evil games. Like even remake one and or remake of two and three or whatever, especially two. Yeah, um, two for sure. Yeah. I I do hear like basically if there's any Resident Evil that I'm like I'll buy it, it's gonna be Resident Evil two remake. Um, and they, you know, Capcom had a, like a really dope sale in the summer or something like that. Um, so keep an eye on those by the way. Uh, but it was like, or it was like humble bundle or something, but you get like all these fucking resident evils, including remake two, three and seven. And it was nice. like, it was like 10, 15, 20 bucks, like something like that. It was like really fucking cheap and even gave you a half off coupon for uh eight too. So yeah, maybe one of those. Yeah, Resident Evil I, uh, games are great too, right? I played through I played through Remake Two and uh, and God, that was so fun. I think for me, what it is is like uh, we'll talk. We'll get over to Dead Space here in a second, but um, mm-hmm. I just really, I just for me, it's the third person. When I'm when you're in first person, like I just I feel like I, it's just a little bit scarier and just kind of a little bit more intense constantly. And I just like I don't know the the Resident Evils in first person I think might be just a little too much for me who knows but um, <laughs> I yeah. yeah dude exactly <laughs> fucking no I do I do want to try <laughs> Resident Evil four in in Oculus though uh-huh. I'm interested about that this is just a little but, Dead Space three footage because Miguel said he had hated that game and Dead I thought Space it'd three that, it's be not funny the same to bring game. it up yeah it's not the same game I'm sorry go ahead. Um, no, I was just saying, I, I do want to try Resident Evil 4 in VR. Oh, um, right. I, I, that, that's probably really intense, especially like some of the later parts of that game. I can't imagine that, but, um, but, uh, I love that game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. So I just want to try it. And it looks like the gunplay is cool. You can like flick clips to yourself and like, you know, do stuff live in VR that you can't do like in the normal game that makes you like a little more agile. So that's cool. Um, Nice. I love that that game. That game and Dead Space, though, those are like my probably my two favorite horror games. <laughs> Dead Space is so good. I've never yeah, gotten yeah. through the whole thing, like the first game, but I played a lot of that first game, and I've restarted it like a hundred times. So I just it's because every October right. I'm like, I'm gonna play all these horror games, and I play like again, you know, classic Jacob fashion, five minutes of all of them. I'm gonna make <laughs> you. Uh, I'm gonna I make play you them. <laughs> I play them. For five minutes. For your new, uh, for your new Twitch affiliate uh, or Twitch partner or whatever you call it, uh, emotes. I'm gonna make you a every game for five minutes emote mm-hmm. for sure. Yep. They just call me. Uh, yeah, no. There, there's a. Hmm, there's there's some there. There's some there. I like that. We got We got to make. Yeah. Got to make it so short it only fits 112 by 112 pixels. Sure. <laughs> it can Maybe. only be a couple and, words if that. He's a five minute every, man. Five minute man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Called out. Uh, 
called out every on the game, radio waves. Every game, every game four or five min. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> uh, five, uh, five minute gamer. No, nah, that's yeah, boring. Yeah, that could work. That's boring. I hate it. That is boring. We can think of something better. Ev- e- 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 v- R- y game, and then four, five, M, I, N. I think it could work. Every game, 45? <laughs> I am. Uh, <still> <laughs> All right, I'll make the graphic so it looks right, you know? No, you should just make a graphic that just says five minutes, and then, you know okay. what I mean? If you know, cool. you know, right? Like, yeah, agreed. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just, and, you know, got to give uh, Pizza Man Sam credit for that coining the phrase because that's his joke making fun of me uh and i love it because it's absolutely true even though i like it's more like an hour maybe two hours for every game you know what i mean but yeah. you know might as well say five minutes because it's fucking funny um what was i saying oh by the way uh apparently john carpenter would like to make a dead space movie according to the pizza man sam's link in the chat and what the fuck, GameSpot? Why are you auto playing videos? And that's what was playing earlier was because I pulled up this article. <laughs> horrible, horrible, GameSpot. Looking at you, looking at you. Uh, what's his name? It's that guy. It's that guy from GameSpot. Everyone loves. He's like Amor obsessed. Hussein? With... Yeah, Tam. Tam. Yeah, Tam. It's all Tam's fault. Yeah. We or should Lucy James. We should definitely bring back Soul Weaver though, because he always talks about Legacy of Cain like all the time. Mm. Mm. Remember that Soul um, Weaver PS One. I, I do remember that. I do remember that. I feel like PS One was all Soul Weaver and Twisted Metal, and now everybody's like, I don't even know what that either of those things are. Twisted Metal. And just makes me oh, feel God, old. <laughs> just, do you know they're making wait, a movie? Just wait for... It's what? a show or a show, a TV show. For what? I on thought it peacock. was a movie, a Peacock TV show about fucking Twisted Metal, Miguel, and with, it, with, with, Anthony, out of here. With, yeah. with Anthony Mackie from yes. Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. What the fuck? The new what is it about? the new Captain America is uh like Sweet Tooth or something. <laughs> no, no, no. He's <laughs> he's trying to kill each other. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He's he's a delivery man, and he has to go oh, from California. Go. I think he has to go from California to Las Vegas or something, and he's being chased Ooh. by Sweet Tooth, I think. Oh, yeah. And then I think the Sweet Tooth car is like Seth Rogen or some someone like that. Oh, this sounds terrible. Dude, we got to watch post- it. And it's, it's post-apocalyptic also. Okay. Get the fuck it. No, I'm so... Well, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, we... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, oh, man. <laughs> we got Peacock in this house, so we're going to watch it. Or I am. Yeah, why not? I definitely will watch it, and and I'll report on every episode uh, for the podcast. Watch all of it, not just five comment. minutes. Oh no 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 no! no. Five <laughs> minutes for video games, not for movies and shows. Okay, <laughs> it's a different. It's very different. All right, guys. Um, Miguel, do you have a horror game story? Oh, uh, really? I mean, we talked about it. Uh, I mean, that first Silent Hill, I beat that. Uh-huh. But I beat that with a friend in the room, and we were using the guide because we were scared. Oh, sure. you you had that the was high okay, so, yeah. Because so it was like right when it came out, and I was like, "Fuck this game." Because like it was a good game though. When you were in high school, I was in middle school, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was extra scary to little old Jacob. Yeah, at that point, I went wasn't as scared, but I was still scared. Remember those like. Uh, what is it? Uh, Resident Evil Seven, which is, I think, oh, God, it's one of the scariest the game games that has recently scared the shit out of you. Yeah, is that game? Uh, okay. Well, we're let's transition to some like current games real quick, and then um, we'll just do a real quick sweep of some older games, um, and we'll just kind of stop uh, and chat about a couple you guys are curious about talking about, uh, and vice versa. Uh, sure. and we'll just kind of go down the line, right? So, uh, I have a couple articles here. We got uh, VG247 calling out the 15 best horror games to play this Halloween, October 22nd, written by Kelsey Rayner. Um, so, of course, we have Resident Evil 1, uh, 1 remake from 2015, uh, 2 remake from 2019, and 7 all listed here. Uh, uh, who doesn't like Resident Evil 1? It's a classic game, just in general. Uh, I've never played it. It was classic. 
It is classic, Miguel. I remember when that came out. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, it was so bad. In a good <laughs> way. Oh, right, yeah. It's so bad it's good. Yeah. Um, the GameCube remake was legit from what I understand. And um, okay. mm-hmm. Video Game Donkey actually has some pretty funny clips of him playing Resident Evil 1. So um, I'll, I'll link that down below, too, and I'll, I'll send it over to you, Miguel, because uh, that guy cracks me the fuck up. Uh, but, yeah, no, I, I I need to play through it one time. Maybe I'll do a stream of it or something one day. Um, but uh, we game I've actually beaten. Resident Evil 1? One. Yeah. Um, nice. One of the only, it's one of the only mainline ones I've never played. I just have, like, I don't know. I just missed the boat on it. So, oh, yeah. Uh, one yeah. Day. Gage in the chat here said, I cannot wait for Scorn. That shit drops in two days. And I agree with you, so buddy. So excited. I cannot so wait for excited. Scorn. Uh, but yeah, Resident Evil 2 remake. We've all said we all we all need to play that. I mean, everyone who hasn't here, um, you I, know, I beat it for Woo. sure. Nice, uh, Mr. X. I know the homie Pandafin has uh, some fucking. <laughs> he's got some mods where he turned uh, Mr. X into a big ass panda chasing him around on the stream. So check out the homie Pandafin on Twitch. Uh, funny guy. Uh, all right. So then it then it talks about the Silent Hill series. And it's it's like specifically calling out Silent Hill one and two, like the old ones. And it says or, play it with emulation. It's like this article is literally uh, saying emulate it. No, don't worry. Do illegal things. You know what I mean? I would. Uh, I I really <laughs> think it's time for. I mean, obviously, there's been a lot of trouble, and Konami doesn't really make video games anymore. But like, um, yeah. but I I just really want Silent Hill to come back in a in a good way and. Obviously, it sucks that it couldn't come back after PT, like, through Kojima. I think that would have been great, but we'll see. Bloober Team is rumored to be making one, right? Um, the people who did, uh, uh, what was the, the split game, the medium? Uh, yes, um, the medium, yeah. Which, and that was okay. I dug it. I yeah. dug it. Uh, yeah. I didn't, um, I didn't so live. I didn't... Kind of really good. I, I'm sorry. Gage, say say that one more time. I don't mean to interrupt. No, you. I'm just saying they, they might be the right team for the job. Like I think they I think they started to get at something with the medium and maybe with a bigger license they would get a little more like funding or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, if they've got a, a bigger publisher behind them or something like that. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is great. Like I think giving Bluebird team more money is not a bad thing. I think we can totally. we can see some good horror stuff coming out of them. Um, although I did not like what I played of the, uh, the, what is it? The Blair Witch game with the dog. Mm, I never tried it. Just, I don't know. There's part, I played it and it just, the jank, it was just too much jank, dude. It just felt like shitty, like controlling, moving around. Everything about it was just like, uh, yeah, I just, blah. but then I played the medium and most people are like, ah, I don't know, it feels kind of antiquated, but like, I'm kind of older, you know what I mean? I'm cool with tank controls. Yeah. The game has yeah, tank controls. Too. It feels like an old Resident Evil game. And for me, that was like, sure, maybe this, this is nostalgia talking, but I thought it was cool. Singer Pro, Singer Bro in chat's uh, bringing up the Observer, which is has been on my list forever, and it's been on Game Pass, I think, more than once. I don't think it's on there now. Uh, but yes, absolutely, I've heard that's their best uh, horror game for sure. It's like a cyberpunk horror game. So um, check out some footage of that. Um, but yeah, Silent Hill One, ah, damn, what a scary game that was. And I still, I still stick by Silent Hill the movie, the first one. I watched. Me too. It. I thought it was dope as fuck. I love it. I, I still think that's one of the best like video game adaptation films like we have. Honestly, fairly decent for a video game adaptation. Right. Uh, it it could have been way yeah. worse than it was. Right. Yeah. I think. Yeah, the end maybe gets a little bit like it loses a little bit yeah. of like the tone that was so good for the beginning first two thirds of the movie. Like it mm-hmm. ramps up a little in a way I didn't think it needed to. But like I, I the atmosphere of the whole beginning part, I thought was like really well done for sure. They even use some of the same camera shots like from the game itself. Like mm-hmm. one particular one is you're walking down this one alleyway and the camera is like moving down like it's getting closer to your guy. And as he walks the cor- down the corner it kind of crawls back up and I always remember that. Cause I, I remember, I remember I was 13 in a house alone with just candlelight playing this game <laughs> by myself. I never forget that camera angle. Uh, and they, it, they literally had the same exact fucking shot straight up in the movie, nice. which I was like, bravo, bravo. And the nurses were great. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
There's and more pyramid to that. Is, I'm not even gonna bring pyramid, that up. But. Pyramid, is, pyramid head is just such a truly oh my good, God. like ter- terrifying embodiment of like, you know, toxic mascul- masculinity and and like uh, abuse and torment. It's pretty good. It's a heady. Those games are heady. They're really heady games. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I want to so. play them, and you know, also PT. You know, R- rest in peace, PT. Whatever game. Right. He- uh, that was also scary too. God damn it, dude! I didn't even play it. I just watched people play it, and I loved how scary yeah. it was. You know what I mean? It was yeah, incredible. Yeah, that should have been a game. Like, they should have finished that shit. Well, that brings us to our next game, which is called Visa- Visage. Is it Visage or Visage? How do you pronounce Visage, that word? I Visage. Think. Visage? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that game is sort of uh, based on PT's, you know, because PT is, like, basically a demo for a Silent Hill game. Uh, yeah. masquerading, re- masquerading as a game itself with, like... He had to fulfill certain things to uh, actually unlock the trailer for the game that we never got. Visage uh, draws its inspiration for that from from PT uh, itself. Um, and man, from what I played of that game, it's fucking pretty scary. I just kind of didn't like the minutia of it. Like you have to manage like your lights and stuff, and when the lights go out, and then it's like, am I gonna die a lot because I don't have enough lights or something? And uh, I don't know. That's the thing about horror games. Sometimes is like, I don't want the tedium. Just scare me, bro. Like, don't make me deal with like, do I have five light bulbs? Oh no, I have one light bulb. Oh no. Like, I don't fucking care. Just like, I want to guess, just scare me, bro. I don't want to do inventory yeah. management. Like, what is this? This isn't Skyrim. <laughs> yeah i don't like when horror games kind of make you do like have have like a a, a fail state based on like some item misusage you're yeah. like come on man like like i don't know like i don't want to replay something over and over again it loses the scare factor just because you know whatever i don't have the right thing equipped or something like that you know yeah like my brain goes to alien isolation miguel which is a game you should play if you've never played by the way I didn't, like it. didn't like it okay why um, I put it in. Uh, that was also a Game Pass game that I da- I downloaded and, okay. and I tried. Yeah. I put it in and I was just like, "This is not doing anything for me." So okay. I stopped. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, How far in did you get? Like, not very. Not very far. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't enough to like say, "Hey, you're gonna play this." Like, right. I didn't care enough about it. Um. See, that's a. <laughs> Pizza Man Sam in the chat said, "Skyrim is the scariest game of all time." Which I'm sorry, I just had to laugh at that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but Oblivion is the scarier facial animation. Seriously, <laughs> dude yes. the the old the older the the Bethesda game, the scarier the fucking Uncanny Valley gets. <laughs> um, yeah, no, uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Oh, Alien Isolation. Yeah, Miguel, you really <laughs> like by hour six, you're finally at the alien. You know, and then the game makes sense. Like like those animes. (laughs) Oh, you just gotta get through like four seasons. Yeah, episode two hundred man. It gets good. Fucking fucking Naruto. No, well, I still stick by Black Clover. Black Clover's (laughs) good. I'm a Black Clover fan, and I I like Yami. You know why I like Yami? You just gotta get through three hundred episodes of shit, then it gets good. No, I only said ninety eight. Check yourself. 98 is when it, you get the really good episode. Oh, 98. That's when it gets real good. Right? <laughs> no, but oh, Miguel. No, Miguel, there's on. a there's a character in uh, Black Clover who's all about pooping and that and that's my spirit animal, Yami. Um okay, and then we get then we get Until Dawn. Uh, uh I uh really fun like party game with friends. We played that um I want to say it was like 3 years ago on Halloween. And uh, had a bunch of people over um, for the game itself, and and like each made choices, and like it, it, you know it's campy and it's kind of silly, and the gameplay is kind of whatever, but it was it it's still it's a total blast. I don't know. Yeah, uh, so I haven't played any of these super massive games, and you guys know me like I just not really a PlayStation gamer. You know, I I do have a PS4 and some games on there, and I do need to fire it back up and get back into it. Um. I just kind of miss out on these games a lot. So, like, I hear a lot of good things about these super massive games, and I do want to check them out. One of them, I don't remember. The one that's all about, like, the war in Iraq or something, just I don't want to even House touch. Of, I don't House care. of Ashes, yeah. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, but Until Dawn sounds great. It's like a slasher, right? It is. It's, it's a very classic, like, 
a bunch of teenagers go up to a cabin in the woods um, to stay over for the weekend. Uh, stuff quickly goes wrong, and they get separated, and then and into a couple different groups. And you know, there's teenage hooking up. Like it's kind of cabin in the woodsy, like that movie. You know what I mean? Um, but not without. Have you ever seen Cabin in the Woods? Um, I love that movie. It's not like the. Not like the bigger overarching stuff, but like the initial part of that movie, you know what I mean? Um, it's 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 got a lot of like the tropes, but it's it's just really well done for like it's mostly fun because like some people suck so bad that you want them to die, and then others you're like, Oh my god, they're gonna go fuck in the woods, they're definitely gonna die, like that kind of stuff, you know, it's like that kind of thing. But it's really fun. Yeah. Um, awesome. Yeah, it sounds great. The other one is um the quarry, right? That's also yeah. kind of similar to that. And what's great about that is that you have um, uh, the you know director of Evil Dead and stuff, his brother's in that. Uh, nice. Fuck, what's his name? Oh, my God, dude. It's so hard to remember no, Bru- names. No. Bruce Campbell? No. No, Bruce. <laughs> K- no, they're they're just best <laughs> friends. Um, okay. Yeah. Sam Raimi. Thank you. Ted Raimi. Ted Raimi is in um, the, uh, the Quarry, which is also by Supermassive. Similar to Until Dawn and to some degree, uh, and then based on, <laughs> sorry, in the chat things are popping off. Uh, based on um, <laughs> what I've heard, uh, choices you make can lead to certain characters dying, certain characters surviving. You know, so like you have exactly. dynamic playthroughs and stuff. But I mean, Ted Raimi, gotta love him, man. Gotta love Sam Raimi. Gotta love Ted Raimi. Uh, Ted Raimi. Raimi like, Malek is in Until Dawn, so there you go. No shit. <laughs> All the Rammies. Wow, he's great. Um, yep. Okay, then we get Murder House, which I've never heard of. So Me you guys heard of Skip this? Skip it. Game. All right. <laughs> um, I just look at this picture. It's kind of creepy. It is weird. So I kind of want to check this one out. You know what I mean? I, I was reading about it a little bit. Uh, I don't know. I just heard that it's pretty cool. Uh, we got Dead by Daylight. Uh, have I'm you heard really of this? Into it. Miguel, have you heard of this game? Dead by Daylight? I want to say yes, but I, I'm to be honest with you, I don't know. So there's a thing going on right now with like horror games that are multiplayer, and they're called... Asymm- Asymm- asymmetrical. Yes, sir. Asymmetrical horror. Evil Dead is in the same model, uh, as well as Friday the 13th, the game, as well as fucking they're making a Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. It's all the same type of thing. Dead by Daylight is the same way. It's sort of like the OG asymmetrical game, if, if you will, as, as of now, like in the modern era. Uh, so like you have, I think five um, started with the uh, evolve is what singer bro said. Um, you're, you're probably right. Uh, it's basically yeah. like one team is like the monsters and then one or monster. And one yeah. team is like the survivors and dead by daylight. It's like one murderer of some sort. Uh, and there's like a lot now, like they, they even have like actual, like, horror characters right uh gauge yes they've got tons of licenses it's kind of insane yeah yeah like uh one of them's like saw right and one of them's like i think jason's in there or something right uh no jason was in the friday the 13th one so i don't think they have that but maybe they have freddy they definitely have like pyramid head they have the i want to say they have like the bander uh snatch or something and they have like I think they, I think they have like even mm. Predator maybe or or something. No, not Predator. They have the Demogorgon, Another... Demogorgon in there. Oh yeah, from uh, there Stranger is. Things. So like, there's just a whole bunch of different characters and stuff, and like, you know, when you play the game, you like you can level up and select perks and stuff and do better at things. And I've played it. It's like kind of fun, but <laughs> I've never played as the as the bad guy. You know what I mean, like the bad guy. Uh, I've only played as a survivor and I always die immediately. And so it's like, are you having fun? You know what I mean? If right. all you do is just like get picked up by pyramid head and then put on a hook and then you're just screaming. Um, it's kind of fun. I don't know. I, I mean, I like, yeah, I liked go for it. I, I like that. It's very horrific. If you will, it's like very slashery. It feels like a horror game. Yeah, I, I liked Friday the 13th. Um, I've never played Dead by Daylight, but I, I, I liked Friday the 13th for what I played of it, but it was super janky and, you know, whatever. It, you know, it, it was it was fun for a couple of nights, and that was that. Yeah, it was on Games with Gold, so I do have it. You know what I mean? Nice. 
Uh, so maybe we can play it one day just for fun or something. But um, I, I stick by Evil Dead. I feel like Evil Dead is a pretty de- a decent asymmetrical horror game, even if not a lot of people are playing it right now. Um, but I do want to play a little bit of that this month. Uh, we also have Phasmophobia, which I did buy. Um, do you guys know about this game? This game's it's, really cool. It's only on PC. It's only on PC, right? Yeah, actually, Miguel, Miguel, and I um, did a stream for this during our hey. um, Labor Day uh, spectacular for this channel here. I was uh, very confused. <laughs> but that What's was. Going on? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, we had uh, yeah. we had the homie Matt from the uh, Lumberjerks uh, chirp- chirping us around and stuff. It's it's actually a lot of fun, um, and I I do want to dive back into that game. Uh, but yeah, the stream was pretty funny. Um, oh yeah, and Sam does play this too, so maybe we can play some of that with him as well. But um, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, yeah. But for our stream, I thought it was funny that Miguel was playing, and then I just had a mic that was feeding into the game itself. And the game, the what makes the in- game interesting, uh, besides a, I mean, there's a lot to it that makes it interesting. But one of the most interesting things about the game is it has voice recognition built into the game itself. So when you talk, it can understand the word you're saying. Uh, so then you can yep. kind of go around with a spirit box and be like, hey, who are you? Where, you know, what's your name or whatever. And so Miguel was walking around in the game and I had the mic and I was like asking the ghost dumb shit. And uh, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. <laughs> that was a nice. good ass time. <laughs> it was I, a good time. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah, I got I got like super high in the garage and I came in and just asked dumb questions. And that was a great time. So maybe we can do another stream like that in the future. Uh, Gage, any interest in Phasmophobia? Uh, if it ever comes off PC, sure. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get you a PC, buddy. <laughs> one of these, one one of these days. A little bitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm a console plebe over here, you know. Hey, hey, no one's calling you a plebe. Hey, you said that, not me. <laughs> you said it. Um, <laughs> now, nah, but hey, you're gonna get Valheim pretty soon here. You know what I mean? I'm excited about that. I'm yeah, excited. We're gonna play. I'm, I'm very excited. Hell yeah. I can't wait. Dude, me and Steven played so much of that last night. And, well, Sam was there too, but after Sam went to bed, then we just kept playing. Uh, alien Isolation, I talked about it. Miguel, you didn't really feel it, but once you get to the alien part, Six that motherfucker hours, right? that motherfucker is like AI, like straight up AI controlled, and he chases you in ways that you'd never fucking expect. And it is like He's a scary, scary as hell. Uh, it's awesome, actually. Outlast, I played some of the first one. Uh, I thought it was cool, ish. You're I don't just know. so you're just so powerless in that game. It's like yeah. all you can do is just run, and it's terrifying. Mm-hmm. It's, it's really scary. I'll give it that. Yeah, I don't know, Sam. You're not an afterthought. I just you know we played till one, um, and then there's Amnesia: The Dark Descent. <laughs> Which is a game I always hear about. Anyone know anything about this? I have no idea. No, I've never, I've never played an Amnesia. All right. Well, you know, don't forget about those. Soma. Never played it. Dead Space. We love it. Eternal Darkness. Finally, we're to the game I want to talk about. Have you guys ever played <laughs> the game Eternal Darkness? I have not. Maybe. I don't remember, to be honest with you. Seeing the, the release date on that, I may have. Oh yeah, I mean, I, it's um, long time ago. The long time. time ago. I remember it. I don't think I beat it ever, but I remember. Uh, I remember liking what I played of it, and there's something really weird about that game, and it's I can't remember what it is right now. I'll look it up. There's some like weird anomaly or something. Is it like okay. you take the disc out and do something weird with it or something like that? What gotta, Eternal Darkness? Yeah. Um. No. Nah, so like, here's the thing. Eternal Darkness came out for the GameCube. Right, which that's a Nintendo console. There's not a lot of horror on there, except for maybe uh the one where you take pictures of ghosts. But the thing that made okay. Eternal Darkness interesting is that like you had a sanity meter, and the like the mo the the more that would drop, the more the uh. sh- weird shit would happen throughout the house. You know what I mean? Uh, but then you'd also go into like ancient stories and like have to solve puzzles and stuff. So I don't know. It was kind of weird. But, like, mostly this game, it was all about the sanity meter that, like, made made it really interesting. Just walking through the house, like, if you start to lose sanity, like, there would just be blood running down the wall sometimes. 
you know, shit like that. So I th- I thought it was a really cool game, you know. I don't know. Well, look at this I, guy. I do it's remember like some I do guy. Remember that sanity meter thing. See, is this, see that's the thing about this game though. It's pretty wacky because it's like you're also like it's almost like also like Assassin's Creed, where you're like going to different time periods, and like why is this guy just walking around with a saber in the house? You're supposed to be a woman, and then all of a sudden you're like in. It's Indiana like Jones. it's like Pitfall now. <laughs> I don't know. What a weird game. That was such a weird game, <laughs> but but cool. It is a weird game. Very cool. Um, okay, what's the next one here? Fatal Frame. That's the one I was talking about. You guys know about Fatal Frame? You take some or, you take some pictures and they're scary pictures. Yeah. Miguel? Yeah. Is that, is yeah, that what happens? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, okay, so Fatal Frame is that you have like a magic uh camera, right? Camera, yeah. A magic camera. Um and then the ghosts are coming at you, right? Right, but you can't see the ghosts unless you're looking through the camera, right? Mm. And the only way to deal with the ghosts, because they're murderous ghosts that want to kill you, you have to take pictures sure. of them. So it forces you to get in first person and look at the ghosts right in the fucking face, and then take pictures of them. But they're also moving around, you know. Yeah. So pretty you, scary stuff. Think, What's that? Said so doing ghosty things. Yeah, they're getting ghosty, but like the. The thing about Fatal Frame, though, is that, like, it's also kind of horny. Because, like, you're always, like, some Japanese girl in a s- short skirt. Like, every time. Classic. Like, even the first one. Look. Look at how short that skirt is. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and you're crawling around some scary place. Rolled out um, uh, skirt, Jacob. What was that? It's a standard length Japanese schoolgirl skirt. Uh, they need to make them a little bit longer. Just a <laughs> tiny bit longer. <laughs> Looks like we got some weird shogi puzzles in here. I'm trying to get to a ghost part. Here we go. See? Uh, what do you think of that? What do you guys think of that? So what are we seeing right now? Oh, a ghost is coming out of the mirror. Oh, are you scared? Are you scared, Sam? Are you scared? I'm a little scared. I mean, look at these fucking GameCube graphics, dude. GameCube so had the horror. Good. They're so terrifying. GameCube had the horror games, dude. It low, did. low key, people didn't know. Luigi's Mansion One, GameCube. That's what I said, man. Luigi's Mansion. Hey, when you said ghosts. Yeah, you're correct. <laughs> okay, here, see, this is what. Look at that. Look, oh, you gotta take a picture. See, that's not fucking scary or anything. You know what I mean? Good on you. I don't like it. I would not like it. my only way to kill a ghost is you know, snapping a photo. Um. It also has little nightmares on this list, which I have to say is incredible. If you never played it, loved it. It's never played it. Incredible game. I, I think it was on Games of Gold one month, and then the next month it was like on PSN Plus. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. they're just giving that game out for free, like last year. I think it was last year. I played through it. I love it. It's a very good game. Me too. It's uh, it's got kind of that limbo inside vibes, but like the the like atmosphere of it and the fact that you're like so small is pretty cool i dig it yeah those dude those remember the level where like they're trying to eat you and stuff and they're like chopping things up fuck that pretty wild yeah seriously. yeah cool so just a lot of games to talk about really um bloodborne's great devotion uh you should watch uh footage of that um again soma was mentioned in the chat so i guess check that one out um, layers I've heard of really good things about it, but I've never played it. Layers of Fear is good. I think it's legit. Um, I don't think Prey is really scary. Um, but let's just kind of throw out I a mean, couple old ones. It's pretty scary in the fact that there's like jump scares because like you'll be like, I'm gonna walk into this normal ass office room and then the coffee mug turns into an alien. You're like, wah! Like, but you know, <laughs> yeah, um, I guess it's not like jumpy. It's, it's not like scary, scary. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's just look at a couple <laughs> old NES games. We got Maniac Mansion. That's classic. You guys know about this game? No. I mean, yeah. yeah. What about totally. Friday the 13th? The I remember game? that one. Remember this one? Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. From what I understand, that one was hard to play. That was, like, hard. 
I didn't probably know. all just hard. They're probably not scary. <laughs> I had no idea there was a Nightmare in Elm Street game. That's kind of cool. Oh man, there was so many Whoa. movie tie-in games back in the NES. You know, seriously. Please. Sweet Home. I don't know. I never heard of that. They made a Bram Stoker's Dracula game. Wow. Everything. That's insane. Monster Party. I've heard of. Ghoul School. Classic. I have not heard of. <laughs> And Castlevania, that's what I was trying to flip to. I mean, come on. Isn't that not the best horror game of all time on the NES? Is it Cast- really a horror game, though? I mean, technically. I know, right? Technically. I suppose. Uh, And then there was the one. Hold on. There's there's that one. What's the one with the the ladies in the room, and it's like a slumber party, and you have to like look through the, flip through the cameras? Night Trap. You guys ever heard of Night Trap? Night Trap, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. But <laughs> I wouldn't really call this a horror game. This is just like a weird voyeur game. I don't know. I mean, technically, it's a horror game, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. That is a, that is an odd, a very odd <laughs> game, for sure. Early FMV, like, mm. perv game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a, like, it's a slumber party. <laughs> what do you expect, dude? Yeah. Alone in the sure. Dark is apparently the first survival horror game ever on PC. Um, so cool. Check out some footage of that. I was watching footage. I have no mouth and I must scream. Sounds really fucking weird. Clock that sounds, like wild. <laughs> yeah. Uh Clock Tower from nineteen ninety five, I've heard about a lot in the past. Um and when I was reading about it, it does sound pretty cool. So maybe look up some uh footage of that. House of the Dead, honorable mention. That's one of the, you know, one of the more fun fucking arcade games you could boot up, right? You guys remember that shit? Of course. Oh, oh what yeah. A, what about Typing of the Dead? Typing the Dead was awesome. Super awesome. Hell yeah. Did you learn to skill at the same time? Okay, I want to. Yeah, bro. Let's quickly talk Here's about. Eve. Is that a horror game? Not in the sense of where you're thinking you're being scared, but I could see it being a horror genre. It's, I mean, they talk yeah, about totally. Right with that game was the copy I bought was used. Uh-huh. So uh, the second disc wouldn't work. Oh, that's whack. Bust. So I got mad. There you go. They have the best 90s um, horror game of all time. Is, is I don't know. Yeah. That was great. It's just a good game. It just really is. You guys ever play Shadow Man? Shadow Man? What's that? Yeah. Let's see. It was, it was like a it was like a horror game. It was like in the bayou, but you end up going to hell. Oh, cool. the right soundtrack here. being creepy as shit. Nice. No, I've never heard of this. Is this it? Yeah. Classic. Wow. Yes. This, this looks like PS2, PS3, huh? Um, that was like or probably I PC. Say it was PS1, Jacob. Really? Oh, maybe this is just like better graphics <laughs> so i was just playing with like it looks like maybe it's like early pc build or something like that yeah you know? i mean it just looks like higher textures are being came applied. out in 99 dude oh wow same go. year as silent hill wow hmm. yeah this must have been a pc game cool no it was on uh, console. Yeah. only console i think so huh and then 64 oh uh, okay wow Ow. Never heard of I've never heard I of that game. And then I found this wiki, which we're not gonna really go through, but I just want to show you how much shit is on here. Like this is apparently every <laughs> horror game ever made on one big ass Wikipedia. So let's just do a random poll. We'll just go. Oh, phasm- phasmophobia. There you go. Can't escape it. Oh, also phantasmagoria. That was a game. PC, I will say, um, I will say, I, I'd like to make a pitch that Inside is kind of a horror game, but like obviously uh-huh. it's not that scary. But but those girls underneath the water, fucking terrifying. I still haven't played it, so I, I do need to oh, eventually. Dude, that was so Inside. My list because I like Limbo a lot. And I, yeah, um, I've been wanting to play Inside, so I did buy. It's a... quick. It's a, it's one night you can probably finish it. I have it on the Switch, so I just need to sit down and play it because I, I bought that and, and and Limbo in the same sitting one time. And we can talk about the ending, which is batshit, but I love it. It's awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll work it in. I'll work it in, and we'll talk about it. Uh, this list I don't trust as much because it's got like 
it's got Bioshock on here, which I guess is kind of a horror game. What do you think you about could, it? You could argue that's the horror genre as well. And Stalker. Kinda, it kind of kind of scared me when know. I first played it. There's a lot of like zombies, I guess, kind of. You know. Yeah. Dying Light One was good. I like that. Insides on this list. The Forest. Oh that, yes. That's a good game, from what I've heard. Um, and I'm just trying to throw out a couple extra that we may have missed. Observer Christ. on this. Manhunt. You guys remember Manhunt? I always wanted to play that one. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to. Me either, yeah. <laughs> and then The Last of Us. I guess that's horror. You know what I mean? But yeah. not scary. I don't know. I mean, there's scary parts. In The Last of Us too. like that whole section where you go in the sewer, like in all the light, it's all red light and stuff. That's pretty, pretty freaky for sure. Pretty freaky. And then one of my favorite horror games of all time, fucking Bloodborne, baby. I really, really, really want to go back and, and, and finish Bloodborne, but I just, I don't have a PS PlayStation console right now, and I want them to just uh, remake it, com- you know, with 60 frames. Yeah, put it on a PC, you cowards. Do it. There you go. So there you go. Bunch of horror games, you know what I mean? Get out Love there, it. play some of them. Maybe you heard about some new ones. Uh, Scorn, Ga- I cannot wait for Scorn. I'm so excited about it. Gage, we have a Pokemon segment. Yes, we do. Uh, so let's do that really quick. How about that? Oh uh, yeah, let's I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna, let's I'll, give you, I'll give you the rundown. All right, and then I'll, uh, here we go. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do do. Let me bring up something real quick. Yeah, we'll just do a few of these. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it snappy, no doubt. Mm-hmm. All right, so here's the rundown. Uh, NPD Squad on Twitter currently has 53 followers. We're trying to change that. We're trying to get more, right? That's fun. But also, uh, with the help of a benevolent AI, I've gone through and generated a pocket monster for each of those followers. Um, my idea is everyone who follows NPD on Twitter or on tw- uh, subs on Twitter, well, eventually subs, follows on Twitch or um, subs on YouTube will get awarded their very own personal Neon Pocket Monster. Oh. Uh, some are calling them Knee ne- uh, Pocket Mon. Neo Pocket Pocket Mon. Neo Neo Pocket Mon. So so today our task is to begin naming and uh, deciding the primary and secondary types of of some p- Pokemon. So Pocket Mon. So um, mm-hmm. we'll uh, we'll start with some people who are are here right now, and we're, we got to do our very own also. So. Um, the ones that are our our Pokemon's. So, uh, mm. yeah, I'll start it off. Do you have a? Do you have my screen? I'm still sharing it with you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I'll bring it up now. I just didn't want to have it up uh, preemptively. Yeah, let's let's start with let's start with uh, your very own uh, our very own fearless leader. So Jacob, uh, what, aka Om Jesus. <laughs> so what was the prompt you put in? Was it Om Jesus or Jacob? I all of these are the Twitter handles of our followers. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's my Twitter handle. Yeah. All right. So what do you what do you guys want to call my Pokemon? My Neo Pokemon. Well, because I mean, like number one, I I'd say one of the types is Ghost for sure. What I definitely think? think Ghost. Yeah. Like Ghost and maybe flying. Ghost and. Ghost and Steel or something like that? Ooh, I do like that. I do like Steel Claw. Cool. That's a good attack. Cool. Miguel, so your Miguel, primary, we'll say primary is Ghost, right? We're into yeah. that. Primary Ghost, secondary Steel. Miguel, go ahead and just name it. Let's go shoot from the hip. Shoot from the hip. <laughs> what do you got? I got nothing right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> ghost and Steel? Yeah. Ghost. <laughs> How about Stego? I like Stego. Stego. We'll call him Stego. I okay, like it. Stego it is. Steel Ghost. Uh, and Steel Ghost. <laughs> Steel Ghost. We'll take the imp- we'll take input from the chat as well. Um, oh, absolutely. That's true. You know I mean, so you guys can chime in as well. Um, yeah, there you go. So there you go. That's my Pokemon, Stego. Stego, he's ghost and steel type, and uh, yeah, he's go. pretty cool. I think it, I think I it kind of captured awesome. your essence in a way. No, absolutely, he looks, he looks angry. He's wearing glasses, so you know he can't see without them. Um, he also looks he's kind got of some neon on him. That's right, yeah, and he also looks kind of brooding, just like me. It's perfect. Let's get the next one. In. Heck yeah! All right, the next one is for Miguel. It's Om Ghost. 
type one goes. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, um, um goes Sam, is Sam good. put like... the Stan put Stegosis, and I do love that, and that could be the evolution. But I don't know. O- awesome. OM Ghost is fucking hilarious. So maybe they. I think, let's I swap think that's it. gotta be it. Let's, let's swap it to that. I love it. Okay, it's swapped. There's, there's gonna be an emote now for OM Ghost. You know, it has to be. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Who's All this right, guy? For, for Boxcar Miguel. This is this is you right here. Oh shit. Um. Uh, it's it's very like it's a like, stoic, which I like. Yeah. Kind of kind of like. Yeah, it's got a little bit of like Mayan symbolism in there somewhere, you know. Even yeah. though, like, even though it kind of looks like it flies, I I don't know. I kind of want to. I would say it's more like a ground type to me, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Miguel, what do you think? I'm a ground type. You think I was you're a ground thinking type? rock. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, rock. Yeah, let's go rock. And uh, I, I meant to. I, I mean, don't I don't know. I forgot that ground and rock weren't the same thing. You know what I mean? Two different things. Yeah. So rock, it could also, it could also be like psychic or something. You know, it's got Ooh. like some sort of, you know. I like that idea. Yeah, I do like it. Cool. The psychic yeah. rock type. I do like that. Yeah, like let's it. go psychic rock. And what are we gonna name this thing? I don't know. What, a, what about like? Uh, yeah, go. <laughs> I'm gonna call go it. I'm gonna call it my my uh Maya Zoa. <laughs> I, I, I like my Zoa. I was thinking Quetz, Quetz, Quetzigel. Quetzigel. <laughs> I like, that's actually really good. Cool. Yeah. Quetzigel. I love it. Quetzigel. Yeah. It's, Cogsworth. <laughs> we got Cogsworth in the chat. That one's really good, too. <laughs> yeah, Quetzigel yeah. is great. I love it. You know, yeah, that got that all... one. That's so fucking funny. Hey, we're, mo- we're moving on to Luke Shot first. We're moving on to me. Ooh. Oh shit! It's is that is that Dore Raymon right there? Is that is that like it, he kind of looks like a Godzilla villain? You know what I mean? He does totally like a cross between like like Power Man and Rodan. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah that's I'm into amazing. It. Um, flying type. It's a weird. I so yeah, I guess gotta we'll be go flying like type. Fl- flying, and then maybe the second is is rock or something. No, I uh, I would say like flying and something. What do you guys, what do you guys think in the chat? Flying and normal. <laughs> normal was kind of where I was going. I mean, you know, he could tackle. He could do a tackle, ground and flying. So wait, he could do fly and then dig. Oh, flying and bug. Whoa. Ooh, I do like Ooh, that. Yeah. Maybe maybe it is bug. You're right. Yeah. I think it's flying and bug. Dude, I think you could sleep some fuckers. You know what I mean? Yeah. You do like totally. uh like the turn A Gundam when he does that butterfly move and just like rains down weird butterfly sauce on everyone and kills them. Nice. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. I'm in, I'm into it. Um all right, let's see. What are we going to call it? Um uh I'm going to call it um uh, kind of looks like a he kind of looks like a like a UPS delivery man. <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna call uh, him. I'm gonna call this guy Brownfly. Brownfly, <laughs> like it. Um, no, no, that's terrible. It was a joke. <laughs> brown, the brown, the Brownfly. No, 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 no. UPS, UPS Brown. Um, um, I was, I was, go- I was going for, I was going for like it can be silly, it can be ridiculous, but what's, maybe like X. Uh, let's think of like some flying thing. You know what I mean? What's a flying thing? Uh, what are the? Oh, ooh, ooh. Uh, how about moth something? Something moth. You know what I mean? Okay. 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 Uh, pff, pff. X moth. X moth. X moth. Mm. Moth. No, 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 no. We're almost there. <laughs> We're almost there, though. We're I was thinking there. like hex moth. Hex. Uh... You're hexing people now. Or maybe it's more like a beetle, like hexedle or something like that. Oh, it does kind of have a beetle look to it. Hexedle. Yeah. How about uh, Geedle? Because <laughs> your because your mean... your first name is you know Gage, so we we'll just put the yeah, G Giedel. put the G on I the Beetle. I got Geedle. I'm Giedel. into that. And you like the the Beatles? Incredible game there you freak go. needs to yeah, hire you. <laughs> what are those Roly Polies called? <laughs> They're called Roly Polies. <laughs> 
Uh, they called Roly yeah, Poly. You the, already said it. I was called Roly Roly Poly. The no Underminer. Opinion, <laughs> Underminer is a pretty fun indie game, by the way. Nice. Um, uh, yeah. are, are we ready to move on? Yeah, yeah. Let's do. Let's do a few more. We'll speed run. Okay. Well, since we since we got these guys in the chat, we're, well, I have I have this one's fucking sick. So this is Arcwing, aka Eric. Whoa! Hot, hot damn, is that dope? Wow! I'm jelly. Wow! That, that, that was right. really cool. That is straight up flying in water. Uh, flying and flying in water, and I also just feel like we just call it Arcwing. <laughs> Honestly, you're you're kind of right. I just want to call yeah. it Arcwing. It's too cool. It's too right. fucking cool. Pill bugs. Oh, okay, yeah, I've heard the term pill bugs. Yeah, that's right. No, we can call them like pe- uh, Peedle. <laughs> when he evolves, Peedle. You know, <laughs> you make him more pilly. <laughs> God oh, damn it! That's unfair. I know. Look at it. It's Arcwing. It's sick. Let's call it's it. definitely Let's Arcwing. Call Arcwing. So, so Fuck yeah, you, I'm, Eric. I'm pretty jealous. <laughs> it's great. It's funny. Uh, it's um, yeah. all right. It's, it's pretty awesome. Who else you got? Are you ready for the next one? The next one. I've got two more to finish out the night, and this next one might be my favorite that the AI generator oh, did. So wait. here we go. This can't is wait. for the uh, the, the, the pizza man Sam, who I know is here. And it's so good. <laughs> can we? Can we? What the fuck? He looks like a candy corn. Yeah. Like a fucking candy corn fucked a person and became some sort of bear creature. <laughs> my, my... He's, he's, <laughs> he's like a pizza delivery firefighter. <laughs> ah, it's amazing. <laughs> my, my, my first thought is fire. Fire yeah. Oh yeah, for big sure. time, big time. Oh man. Oh, I mean, God. it's cool. It's just that's just the starter. You know, the evolution will look way cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make promises. I wanted to call <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I wanted to call this guy pre- Pizza Whirl. Pizza Whirl. Yeah. I like Pizza Whirl. Pizza Whirl. That's great. <laughs> the fuck is that? I don't know. It's some kind of nightmare <laughs> creature. Uh, <laughs> uh, how about we call him Pizza Bear? No? Or how about just Zah? How about Zah Zah Bear? Hmm. Zah Bear. Zah or Zah World. Zah Zah Bear. I like both of those. Hmm. Zah World though. Zah World though. Nah, uh, that's, that's never mind. It's just a joke. Uh candy corn, qu- candy cornicus. Candy cornicus. <laughs> 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 we'll, we'll call it the. Uh, yeah, we just call it the Zaw Bear. Sure. Yeah, I think Zaw Bear works. It's a we'll fire. We'll say Zaw Bear. Zaw Bear. A bear, and then uh, yeah, it's fire and fighting, maybe. Oh, I yeah, I like that. Fighting. I do yeah. like that. Yeah, firefighting. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. What Cobber. do you think? What do you think of that pizza man? Is he in the chat? He's, 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 he's throwing a bunch of his emotes in the chat, so you know he's loving it. You know what I mean? He's he completely <laughs> supports this decision. I'm gonna, put yeah. a, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of uh, pizza crowns in the chat just to <laughs> whirly corn. Whirly corn is great. Because I just imagine that middle part, it kind of looks like the fan on the uh, Air Man from Mega Man. So it makes me think it's like a chest fan. Yeah, I think it's just pizza, but it's all, but it's, it's like, it's good. I get you. Yeah, but maybe it's spinning around and spinning out cheese at all times. Love it. You know, Uh, it's my favorite. All right. Well, last one for the night is, is our very own friend, the singer bro in chat as well. I can't wait for this thing. Oh, God. Ah, (laughs) what the fuck? What is oh, this? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what in the fuck is that supposed to be, man? It's like a weird badger with fucked up hands. You know what? <laughs> it's a dark Pokemon, just by the look. <laughs> okay, look. Yes, it's dark, number one. And number two, I just watched the movie Maniac, and all I can think of is Frank Zito. Because oh this is because he, he was like the weepy killer. You guys ever heard of the weepy killer, the sure. serial killer who would kill people and then call the cops and be like, "I just killed someone. I'm so sorry." And he would like oh. do like a little weepy voice. That's sort of like how Maniac acts too, where he'd be like crying to his mommy right after murdering a woman. Word. So that's just sort of what I get. I'll call this Zito Mon. 
<laughs> I like it. Z- Zetomon is is fantastic. Zetomon, Z I T O M O N. I love Zetomon. it. <laughs> what the? Here's Pizza Man. That just came out, didn't it? It sure this did. Is and I think it's dark type. Yeah, you're right. And maybe just dark and normal. Uh, no, we don't have a ground type yet. So I think this is a ground type because if you look at his butt. You'll notice that he kind of has the uh, tremor uh, graboid type of butt, right? So he can like rip and and tear the ground and and, and dig. Yeah, swamp ass. We could just call this thing swamp ass if you want. I mean, I'm down with that. <laughs> swamp ass. I love. I love that it's got like kind of like Venus flytrap hands too. It's like oh, they're all or oh, salad fingers. Oh, why are they? Sort of? Yeah, I didn't even pay attention to the hands. Yeah, why are they like it. this? <laughs> Definitely salad figures. <laughs> Why is he like? It's like he's broke his wrist just to make that weird thing happen. Yeah, it's pretty great. So, so I think this is a success. I think this is definitely the move. Yeah, it's really um, funny, man. So, uh, so yeah, this was a fun start, and uh, thanks to the people in the chat. And these are now your official, um, mm-hmm. yeah. your neon neo neo Pokemon's. So, yeah, um, yeah neo Pokemon. We'll Pocket. be making we'll be making some tweets to you on our official on our official account, and uh, mm-hmm. you can save them yeah. and cherish them forever. Yeah, and then maybe we'll do like a game in the future where we can like all battle them and stuff, and we'll figure it out. It'll be a lot of fun. I thought I, I thought about that too. That would be that'd be pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, we'll roll dice and stuff, and we'll make it legit. You know. Yeah. Totally. Guys. Um. So, so yeah, if you just last note on that. So yeah, you know, if you're a new follower or a new sub, um on youtube or new uh follower on twitch we'll we'll you know we'll find you or reach out to us on twitter and and let us know and and i'll i'll check periodically and i'll be making these as we go so we'll we'll run through the backlog for over the next couple of weeks and and yeah it'll be cool yeah yeah we'll just we'll keep pulling up this uh segment as we go for sure be a good old time um we need we need a couple endorsements guys i gotta make it super quick i endorse sierra nevada it's a great brewery. I don't know if they uh, have a Michigan. Uh, pretty sure you can find this in Utah. Um, you know what I mean? In the tri-state state area, but Sierra Nevada. This hazy little thing IPA, it's pretty damn good. That's my endorsement. Hell yeah. Yeah, buddy. Say, uh, I'll endorse Albertson's $5 Fridays. Uh. $5 six-packs, friends. What? Really? <laughs> Yeah. Case builder? <laughs> or? Go on, uh, uh, where you're at, but in Las Vegas, $5 Fridays. They usually okay. have some sort of beer, $5. I had no That's idea. Awesome. That's great. Thanks. Gage? Hell yeah. I'm going to endorse. I don't have one on me, but I happen to have the, the thing. The the JBL clip. Oh. I think they're on the... I think they're on the... Uh, the three or the four now, but uh, it's a handy little waterproof uh, Bluetooth speaker that clips right onto your jeans or in your car or wherever you need to clip it. Probably not in your car, but um, I've tested it. They're fully waterproof. You can put it in a pool and it just floats there. Pretty cool. Sick. Um, it's cool. A- so yeah, they're j- jibble, jibble, dude. They make good products. Is it a speaker, like a Bluetooth speaker? It's- yeah, it's a Bluetooth speaker, but it's a nice. uh, cool. But it's got this handy little clip on it, so you can do a bunch of activities. What? Clips? It clips. It clips? It clips clips onto your pants? It On your pants. It clips? (laughs) So does it clip to your backpack so when you're you're, uh, going on a hike that, like, everyone around you can be annoyed that you're playing your fucking music? Like some kind of asshole? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm just kidding. Uh, will, no, that, that sounds I've great. That sounds great. Snow- I'm just I've, done, I've done that snowboarding though, and, and yeah, I felt like an <laughs> asshole, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I, I'm just messing with you, Gage. Um, no, that sounds like it's a great product, and um, I do also happen to have um this new dope ass headset that just arrived at my house, and I'm about, about to open the box. It's a uh, the JBL Quantum um, 600. Well, it should be the 600. I thought it was 600, but it's 300. So we'll see how that goes. Huh. Quantum of quantum of solace. Yeah. Interesting. Thought it was a 600. So, um hopefully it's what I ordered. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh you know what? Yeah. It's cool as long as they're wireless, I think we're good. 
Uh, we want to thank you for watching the podcast and we're listening to the podcast. Everyone, thank you very much. Everyone, thank you very much. Everyone, thank you very thank much. Thank you, guys. Thank you for Thanks, being here. Uh, we're going to we're gonna end this show now. Uh, I just have to uh, ask one final, very difficult question. Uh, Miguel, what are you about to eat? I already ate. All right, cool. Say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> we'll see you all next week for more Odd Torber content. Thank you, everyone, for being here, and we'll see you all next time.